every week I'm like, I'm not going to do another video on the Fallout TV show, but then I see an interesting set of comments in my comment section and I'm like, F it, let's talk about it again. So today I'm going to be talking about how moving from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4 is a prime example of how Fallout TV show is going to handle its own set of retcons that it will inevitably have. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now the Fallout TV show is primed and ready to have a ton of retcons because it is utilizing the Fallout 4 style. Now the Fallout 4 style is incredibly specific and unique, I would say, because the previous styles of games follow more Adam Adamowitz style who has who passed away between the production of Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 due to cancer. RIP to Adam, I really think his art style is my favorite of all of the Fallout games and it really fit in with Fallout 1 and 2 and brought it into a 3D world. Whereas I feel like the art style of Fallout 4, while I love it, is very different and unique in its own right. And that seems to be the style of art that the Fallout TV show is going to be utilizing almost exclusively from all of the leaks we've seen thus far. It's important to note that it makes sense that the Fallout TV show is going to be using this art style that Fallout 4 and then subsequently Fallout 77 six used because there is a high volume of new things in it and there's a lot of source material to pull from because these games are inherently larger than Fallout 3 and New Vegas and it just makes sense that they'd use this and I'm not mad that they're using this necessarily I do think it is just very different and does lead to a bit of retcons when I started creating Fallout lore content on my or facts content on my Instagram my biggest source of facts was literally just comparing the art changes from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4 because they're substantially different and it does kind of change the lore of like certain weapons and certain Nuka-Cola bottles and things like that so moving from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4, there was a lot of justification that needed to take place in order to make these stylistic changes. I understand why Bethesda did these stylistic changes, and I think it's really important that they did them because with Adam Adamowitz passing away, it was the lead concept artist of many Bethesda games, including Fallout 3, and obviously his art style, while he wasn't the lead artist of New Vegas, impacted New Vegas because they used assets from Fallout 3 to make New Vegas. They basically reskinned Fallout 3 to make New Vegas, okay? I love both games, but let's be real, that's what happened. Time limits, all that. Totally makes sense. But they had to move from these two different art styles and when Adam passed away, they didn't want to only use his art style, but they wanted to be inspired by his art style. And it makes sense and I think it does really do Adam a justice because they didn't continue to just copy and do kind of cheap ripped offs of his style. He passed away, so he wasn't there to put in input and it makes sense to me that change. But again, it forced them to have to change a lot within the lore because of these stylistic changes. And one of the most notable stylistic changes is the Nuka-Cola bottle. The Nuka-Cola bottle is one of the biggest changes and one of the changes that needed the most lore justification. Now, some of the weapons do take on a different look, like the junk jet to rocket launcher. That's a completely different weapon, but there are a lot of other weapons that have a change. The power fist, things like that, the flamer. And they go from being more military looking weapons, perhaps more in more handmade weapons to more of an industrial look. They have yellow on them. They look like they have caution kind of things on them. And I think with the flamer and the power fist and things like that in Fallout 4, they're used in an industrial or construction setting versus in Fallout 3 where they were used in and New Vegas, where they were used in more of a military and perhaps just wasteland invention setting, right? So it does make sense that there these changes occur. That is one of the minor justifications, but but between the Nuka-Cola bottle being rocket shaped and the Nuka-Cola bottle being Coke bottle shaped, let's be real, there was a significant change. Now there is rumor and speculation that that significant change sparked from potentially Coca-Cola being upset at the shape of the Nuka-Cola bottle. Now there is no way to get a complete confirmation of this, but there is some information out on the web about this change and Bethesda needing getting a patent or like a copyright protection for the new Nuka-Cola bottle, things like that. So know that new that Coke basically owns the rights to a bluish colored glass certain shape bottle, which ex was almost exactly what was in the original Fallout games. Because obviously Nuka-Cola is trying to be Coca-Cola. It's red and white. The font's basically the same. It's just a different look obviously. So what was that justification and how does it apply to the Fallout TV show? As we have seen, the rocket shaped bottles have occurred not only in Fallout TV show leaks, but in official videos about the Fallout TV show, we have seen this prop be passed to 
people who are working on the show as kind of like a, a bit of a teaser of the show and it's definitely going to be the shape of the bottle that's in the show. Now, if these real life justifications for the change are true, they can't go back to the other bottle shape, which is fine, whatever, who cares? But how are they justified? We know that in Fallout 4, the rocket-shaped Nuka-Cola bottle is right near Nuka World, which was used, utilized as a test market for that shaped bottle, and that is why the rocket bottle was there. They only got sent out to certain areas of the country and test markets. It could be feasibly true that the Fallout TV show utilizes this test market model for why they have a different shaped Nuka-Cola bottle in the show than most of the area that is suspected to be near Vault 33, which would be the Mojave Desert. That's what I I think at least I've done other videos on them on this theory you can check them out so follow up three to four really does build this model of oh you kind of have to inbuilt or inlay these things that justify changes like the test market thing there is even a in-game justification that a lawsuit forced them to change the shape of the nuka cola bottle kind of almost mirroring potentially what happened in real life not that there was a lawsuit but perhaps they were encouraged to change the shape of the bottle let's just put it that way by some potential legal things that could occur if they were going to continue to build um, merchandise around basically what is a Coke bottle. Let's be real. It's a Coke bottle shape. I think that's going to be the major justification for the Fallout TV shows change. Obviously, they have to do this change as it is seemingly required now. But for the other things in the show, it's going to be interesting to see what they use as justifications for the change. We know based off my last video on this, I'm still standing by it, that the Pip-Boy is going to be the Fallout 4 model, the Pip-Boy 3000 Mark IV, which we really only see in Fallout 4. It could just be that this vault was also sent the same Pip-Boy model, which would make perfect sense to me as a good justification. Now, for the other things that we're going to see in the show, like weapons, etc., it doesn't fully make sense to see these in these regions, but perhaps there will be a construction site or something nearby to justify the more construction-type look of the weapons in this game, or... I don't know. Perhaps they won't do any justification, which is entirely possible and kind of the Route 76 took with regards to the changes for the weapons, items, everything in that game. They didn't fully justify the changes and... You know what? Does it matter? Is it going to upset fans? Yes. Is the show going to upset fans regardless? Yes. Am I going to be upset? Probably about something, but these changes don't all necessarily need to be justified as they are stylistic changes and don't really have a heavy impact on lore, but it will be interesting to see how they are justified or if they are justified. But I think the Fallout 3 to Fallout 4 model is going to be their best bet for justifying these changes, just including minor things like, oh, these are used on construction sites, or oh, this is a test market for the Nuka-Cola bottle, or whatever else they do to justify these changes is probably going to be enough for fans to excuse it to some extent, or alternatively, they could do 76 model and basically just be like whatever you know this is our art style now it's changed so what who cares but i'm curious to know what you think do you think they're going to justify the changes do you think it's important to justify changes please let me know in the comments and have a wonderful day in the wasteland my kids <laughs> later